This video covers what controllers can be programmed with J2534 when using the Ease Universal Reprogrammer 2. What controllers can be programmed is determined by the vehicle manufacturer, and not all manufacturers provide access to all controllers. At the end of this video, I compile the chart of known information at this time, as of October 2012, and please view our website for the latest information, as this information may change. As of 2004, all new vehicles must support the SAE J2534 reprogramming specification as mandated by the EPA. And in this, it means all OEMs must support aftermarket repair shops with J2534 flash programming for any emissions related controllers on a vehicle that can be reprogrammed by a new car dealership. Now, although this took effect for 2004 vehicles, many OEMs offer support for older vehicles and other types of controllers. Be sure to visit the vehicle manufacturer's websites to determine which vehicles they support and which controllers they support. Now we provided some handy links at the URL listed on the screen. In addition to the vehicles and controller support, you're going to need a manufacturer's data subscription. Now these are required and are available only from the OEM's websites. And again, there's links from our website directly to these so you can purchase them. And some manufacturers may also require additional cables for reprogramming certain modules and controllers. And this is also covered in a separate video and on our website. Now, there are certain vehicles and controllers that are not supported. Uh, we know that the Suzuki can be reflashed, but it must be reflashed with a Tech 2. And again, check out the manufacturer's websites for the latest information. And of all the issues that we know of, anomalies and controllers and vehicles and so on, uh, please check out the URL link on that website. You can always just go to the OBD2 website, click the support link, then click the reprogrammer and you'll see the anomaly list right there. Now here's the charts I was talking about that I put together. I listed the OEMs on the left and what controllers are supported via J2534. So again, I'm not going to read through all these, but I'll, you know, I'll leave it up here for a couple seconds. You can pause it and read it at your leisure. And again, there'll be a chart of this available at our website. If you just go to obd2.com, you can find it there. And here's the rest of the manufacturers that I know of at this time.